All right. For our interviews with experts, uh, our guest this week is uh, Dr. Susie Harrington, who is the Chief Wellness Officer here at OSU. So, uh, Susie, thanks so much for, for joining us. Would you start off telling us what is a Chief Wellness Officer? I sure will. The Chief Wellness Officer is actually a new position in the country. I'm the first dedicated Chief Wellness mm -hmm. Officer. Um, my role is to strategically coordinate all things wellness for all of our campuses. So we have our five OSU campuses, and we have our four A&M campuses, and we also have 77 County Extension Service offices. Wow. So um, it's to coordinate all, all wellness. It's to bring it, uh, to, to, to systemize it. Um, but it's really to enrich the lives of our students, our employees, and our community members, which makes us a little unique because most um, university wellness programs are very siloed. It's university, okay. I mean, sorry, it's students, it's employees, or it's um, community right. members. And if it's community members, it's through, usually through academic research rather than the, the wonderful job that our land-grant mission does through the 4-H and, and um, County Extension Service offices. So, um, so it's also to harmonize all the dimensions of wellness, our physical, emotional, spiritual, social, and professional wellness. And then um, uh, for uh, those, that, in case you've talked to your class about the socio-ecologic model, we actually synergize all of the, those um, behavioral change areas, our personal, interpersonal, organizational, environmental, and policy was all part of that. So we actually have a model that, that shows okay. all of that and spins it all around and so that it fits all of those pieces together in one area. Okay, terrific. Now you said you're the first. Are you the first in the country at a university like this? First dedicated. One of the okay. other universities, I say the other OSU, the Ohio State, they also okay. have a chief wellness officer, but she's also the dean for the nursing program and she I see. Uh, focuses was primarily on employee, but collaborates very well with the student wellness. Gotcha. So. Could you say a little bit more about what wellness means? Sure, sure. Um, typically, when we think wellness, we think diet and exercise, and, and wellness is much more than that. I say that those are four-letter words, and while diet really is, when we talk about four-letter words, there are things that you have to do. You have to feel like you have to diet, and it's, it's something you don't want to do. And so if you feel like you have to do it, you're going to stop doing it. So we really talk about instead of what you do with being wellness, it's it's who you are. It's, again, that harmony of those dimensions of wellness. So um, it's about being the best we can be, the most productive, the most successful, the most engaged, the most happy. And if we harmonize all of those dimensions of wellness and, and match them as best we can, our physical, emotional, spiritual, mm -hmm. then we really can be the most engaged, most creative, most productive. Right. One of the things I especially like about that is when we think about diet and exercise, we think about kind of a time limit on that. I'm, right. I'm on a yeah, diet exactly. or I'm on an exercise kick. And your definition really is about learning lifetime right. ways of being right. um, that promote wellness. Right. So I think that's terrific. And so if we do talk about diet and exercise, it's really nutrition and an active lifestyle. So, right. So right. how do we eat healthy so that we can engage our brain and, and feed our body? And, right. Right. I know our students are familiar with this phrase of America's healthiest campus, yeah. and they, they see it uh, in lots of ways around campus. Can you say a little bit about, about what that mission is about? Sure. And it's actually not a mission. It is. It's just we yeah. are America's healthiest campus, technically. We're trademarked for it. Okay. Um, but it's, it, we really, um, our goal is to live America's healthiest campus, to, again, be the best that we can be. I can successfully say that we are America's healthiest campus, although there are no national benchmarks at this time. We're working on five different national organizations to come up with those benchmarks, okay. but we were the very first to be tobacco-free in the country. We were the first to have a standalone wellness center. We're the first to have a comprehensive pet therapy program yeah. um, for our employees. We offer um, uh, subsidized fitness, mm -hmm. uh, our membership to mm -hmm. the recreation, which is very, very rare. Right. Um, the first to have a dedicated chief wellness officer. Mm -hmm. So President and Mrs. Hargis are very committed following the mission of what Bud Saratine did um, several years ago. Right. So. Um, that's, so, yes, that's what yeah. it means. So this is kind of a new thing in our campus, but it has deep roots here at OSU, going Absolutely. back to Bud Saratine, and that's, that's terrific. Right, right. Um, I wonder if you could say a little bit about, uh, you, you are in a unique position, as you said. Can you say something about your path of how you came to this position, talking sure. to undergraduates who are thinking sure. about what they're going to do when they grow up? Um, how did you come to this position? Um, it was a very convoluted path. Uh, mm -hmm. I, I have moved 27 times. Wow. So um, I was I started out as an Air Force nurse, actually. I went to nursing school. Um, and wherever I was, I learned and did the best that I could be. Um, and I found that with nursing, it, I, I wanted to take care of people before they got sick. Mm -hmm. And so found um, health promotion and, and, and got a degree in wellness, uh, master's in science. Um, did, but I did all kinds of different things. I was a school health nurse for 13 schools, again, teaching wellness. Mm -hmm. um, 
I was the Air Force Health Promotion Program Manager, so I was doing a subject matter airport expert for the Air Force for uh, health and wellness centers across the country, okay. actually international. Um, but I also did things like um, nurse recruiting, uh, where I was bringing people from colleges to the schools and trying to, to, to get them in a place that works for them, where they could be the most successful that they could be. So um, I took each position that I did, I, as I moved, I kind of had to find where I wanted to fit and just learned as much as I could. And it's kind of interesting, all those different positions really fed into this one. So that when this one came up, when they recruited me for this one, um, I had already just been the American Nurses Association Director for Health Safety and Wellness, doing mm -hmm. a similar thing. I had done mm -hmm. it with the Air Force. I had, I was working for NCQA, which is the hospital accreditation, and there I learned much more about the Affordable Care Act. So I took each piece. I say I'm a jack of all trades, master of wherever uh. I am. <laughs> and if you do that and 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 learn as much as you can, then you can build build who you need to be whenever the timing is right. So the timing right. was absolutely right for this position. Right. Well, that's a terrific lesson for our students, I think, to kind of follow the things that interest you, right. never stop learning, right. and uh, always try to find ways to make a difference. Right. 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 Well, thanks so much, Susie, for taking the time today. Yeah. Thank you for your time. Appreciate it.